Hey guys, just a quick tutorial showing you how you can use the Fonto app to curve your text and then upload that curved text into Cricut Design Space uh, on the app or email it to yourself so you can upload it on the computer. So first I'm going to open the app. This is what it looks like, the one on the left, Fonto. And I could be doing this stuff wrong. I don't know. This is just what I found works. But I click the little camera icon at the bottom. And then I tell it I want a plain image. And then I click on the white one on the top right. And then I hit the little, like, send icon up at the top right side. And tell it I'm going to use it. So now I have a white box that I can type on to. So I'm just going to click on the box and tell it to add my text. So what I learned the first time that I got in here was when I cho went to the fonts, you know, it has all of these fonts that it would give me. But I clicked on the My Fonts just to see what that was. And there was nothing there, but it told me how to install fonts. You can see it down here at the bottom. So I went into um, iTunes and learned how to copy all of my computer fonts onto my phone. And this has been a little while, so I actually have more fonts than this now. I probably need to update it again. Um, but you can see I have like 16 or 1700, um, 1,686 fonts on here that I can use, plus the ones, you know, that it came with. So pick a font. It doesn't really matter um, for this. I'm just going to pick one. This is my third time doing this video because I don't know what I keep doing wrong. So there's a font. And I'm going to just type in something real easy like curve text. Something else I like is that it has these symbols here. Um, so I like the little heart symbol. I think it's so cute. So I'm going to put a heart and then I'm done. So here is my text. You can size it from here. Um, you know, if you want to make it bigger or smaller, um, you can tilt it. But for this, like I said, I'm just showing you guys how you can curve it. If you have the Android app from this screen, you have to click on the style button right here. And then you'll click on style again at the top. And where it says shadow spacing underline, you'll actually have one that says curving. OK, but I'm on the Apple iPhone, so I'm going to swipe. And there I have my curve. So now you can adjust how much curving you want. Do you just want to arch it? Do you want it in a circle? So if I just want to arch it just a little, well, then there I go. If I want to make it a circle, well, then I do it the whole way. Let's say I want to go the other direction. Well, no problem. I'm going to go backwards. Okay, and you might be saying, well, that doesn't look straight or what have you. Well, that's because I have that little heart and an extra space. Um, but you can see it, it does, you know, do it evenly. Um, and so it curves it th the same amount on both sides. So once you have the text where you want it, you can click down here at the very bottom right, the little send button. And again, if you're on Android, you cannot upload into your Design Space app. Um, and if you don't use the app, you want to put it on your computer, well, then you can mail it to yourself by clicking the mail option right there. Um, or if you want to go ahead and use the Design Space app on your iOS device, you can just save it. So I save as a PNG. Then I'm going to go and open up my Design Space app. And with the most recent update, we can now upload. So I'm going to click the upload at the bottom from my camera roll. And I'm going to go to my camera roll, and there's this curved text. So the thing with when you upload, you have to remove any background. So anywhere I see white, I'm going to click it. So there's the big part of the white. But then I also don't want to forget about the area right here in between, like there in the E and then in this E. Okay, so now I'm going to hit the next button. And you can do any kind of refining and stuff here, but this is fresh text, so I'm good. So I'm going to hit next and save it as a cut image, which is on the left. So I'm going to put curve and then hit save. So then you're going to get a list of all of your uploaded images, and you can select it and hit insert. And now you have that curved text ready to 
cut out or whatever it is that you're going to do with it. So again, adding it to Cricut Design Space app only works on iOS devices right now, but you can use Fonto to curve your text and email it to yourself if you don't use the iOS app. Hope this helps you guys uh, start curving your text um, a little less uh, time consuming than trying to do it manually in Cricut Design Space. Have a good day.